All right, in 21, it says that the amount of time it takes to complete a job varies inversely. And when we have varies inversely and varies directly problems, we need to remember what our formulas are. Varies directly is y equals k times x. But this one varies inversely. means that we're going to have y equals k divided by x. What that's saying is as one number gets larger, the other one's going to get smaller. So in this case, as, as x gets smaller, y will get larger and vice versa, the opposite. Okay. So since we have a very inversely problem, we're going to be using the second formula. And perhaps you're one of those students who finds it a little bit easier to use the words that come in the problem. So it says, uh, the time it takes to complete a job varies inversely with the number. So I say the time it takes to complete a job varies inversely with the number of people. Uh, I'm going to use P for people or N for number, either way. Okay, so this is going to be the equation that I use to solve this problem. The second sentence says, if it takes 10 people a total of 15 hours. Well, I've got 10 people and 15 hours, so I'm going to need to plug those into this equation. People, 10 people is going to go in for people, so I'm going to write, okay, and my 10 is going to be down here. And 15 hours, that's definitely a time, so that's going to be here. And since I only have one variable in this equation, I'm going to solve for that variable, and that variable is k. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. That's going to cancel here. And I'm left with k is equal to 150. OK, that's the end of the, the, the second sentence, or maybe up to the comma that's located here. Okay. After that comma, we have almost like a totally separate problem, where we're going to take our equation again, t equals uh, k over p, and we're going to use our new value for k, which is 150. And it says here that we have six people. How long will it take? So we don't know t, we don't know time. Will it take six people? So we're going to be plugging in our 6 for our p-value, and what we get is 150 divided by 6, which when we put in our calculator, we get 25.